Hi guys, you know gaming here. So I'm just gonna explain basically what's happening with LCPFR at the moment. So pretty much, I installed all my plugins and stuff. I had the game exactly how I wanted it when I recorded that episode. Yes. So uh, after that, I installed a few other things. Like I installed the Taser, the British Taser and the British ASP baton, and I put in some other different models, which was perfectly fine. The game was working perfect until I got this kind of glitch, which Basically, every time I went to the police station and went on duty, it loaded my plugins and then went LCPFR was crashed. Every single time. So, that was the problem I was kind of having. So, to fix that, I put in some files which were helping out my plugins. And then, because I did that, it still wasn't working. So, I thought, right, I'll install LCPFR, I'll install RageHawk. Which I then did. So, which I then thought, so this isn't working, I've put this in, and it's still not working what can I do? So I thought, okay, I'll start taking out things one by one, which I did, and then the game just went unavailable to launch. Unavailable to launch, your game is not compatible, unavailable to launch. And then it said your game files are corrupt, which I was like, wait, what? So I was kind of thinking at the time, like, my game files are corrupt, I kind of have a problem here. So I thought, all right, let's just uh, put my GTA backup back in. So I deleted everything, my GTA backup into my folder, which then I launched GTA. It was perfectly fine. So I put Ray Jog and LSPFR back in, uh, and then I tested by accident. I tested the normal GTA without Ray Jog, which I didn't kind of notice. And I was like, oh yeah, my game's launched. It's fine. So I went on to then install uh, install a pack, which I was gonna then switch some vehicles out to put my own vehicles in. Because uh, I was going to swap out a few vehicles in the pack that I kind of didn't like. Um, which I put the pack in and then launched it and it wouldn't launch. Just went, your game files are corrupt again. So it was like really stupid. So I decided, alright, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to uninstall. So I uninstalled the game, which currently it's doing on the right monitor. Currently it has 9 hours and 45 minutes left on the install which it's done 1.9 gigabytes and it's uh, out of 6 64.1 gigabytes which is going to take it's probably early hours uh, of tomorrow afternoon so probably about 2 o'clock that will be done which will be pretty decent to get back on what I'm going to have to do is reinstall all my scripts and other stuff um, I'll basically name some of the quick things I'll have to install, all my different callouts like SWAT callouts, code ray callouts, code 3 callouts, K callouts, PAU callouts, secondary callouts, all that stuff. Uh, my ultimate British mods pack and ultimate uh, uniform pack. And then I'm going to have to install some other vehicles which I'm going to take out. My G4S prisoner transport van I'm going to have to put back in. My uh, other van I'm going to have to put in. Script talk I'm going to have to put back in. I'm going to put my uh, the Taser X26 back in. I'm gonna put the bear cart back in, and then put these skins back on. The Metal skins on that. I'm gonna have to reskin my Taser so it goes from the black version of the X26 to the yellow version, so it looks like the British one instead of like the kind of European version. I'm gonna have to put in like the buses back in, the taxis back in, all the stuff that you kind of haven't seen. The petrol stations, which I brought modified to be British all the trucks uh, backs which were like Asda and Sainsbury's and stuff which kind of made it really nice and I had some civilian vehicles in which made it really nice as well and I put a new Park Ranger truck in the Ford Park Ranger truck which was really nice and I also put in a kind of road closure mod where I could close roads off a certain area if anything was going on which was really really cool and I really needed and I think that I could place barriers um, and then I installed this uh, kind of dog thing where I could spawn dogs which was one of the last things I installed before my game stopped working, so it was one of the first things I thought to take out. I did take out all of my callout scripts and stuff, which really didn't do much. It just sort of said my game files were corrupt. So if you're ever having problems with GTA, your easiest solution is straight away uninstall, reinstall. Don't try mess about. If it's a simple thing that you've put something in the wrong directory and you just change it over, that's like simple but like if you totally muck up your files don't try and fix stuff because it's costing yourself time when you could be installing it uh, and doing everything else and uh, with LCPFR it's better to kind of keep it simple and work up 
I've spent about two weeks perfecting my LCPFR, moving up from the simple stuff which you've seen, my simple LCPFR, where I had just the basic stuff in, it was the basic standard LCPFR, then I put some cut mark call outs in, and then I moved up and put a pack in, and, and uniforms, and then out of the pack I started putting in my own vehicles, then out of that I started putting some road closure stuff in, then I started putting some civilian vehicles in, and then some extra little details which kind of bring it up to the standard, which is really good, like your British road sign mods and stuff. Which are going to be some of the hardest things to install. And then the one thing that I didn't get to was like the sound effect packs that I didn't put in yet. Thank God I didn't put them in because they take quite a while to do. And then I've got like, the police deterrent mod and the pr pursuit deterrent mod, which I never put in either which I really wanted to put in and then I've got to put like Met Police Public Order stuff in and you know work your way up don't always you know jump straight in always test your game straight afterwards and make sure you're doing everything right and just follow the readmes the readmes are made for a reason which I always followed the readmes personally except from when you get a readme where it says go to patch day 8 and there's nothing in patch day 8 so I think wait what patch day have I seen that in? Oh yeah, patch day 3. Then you're in patch day 3, you search. What you need to do, if it's not in the file that it says on the readme, go to patch day 3, because that's where most of your stuff is. Or uh, x64e on your main directory. And then vehicles RPF in there. Search what you want in the top right corner. And find it. And then you'll find it if it's in that folder. Don't just drag and drop when you don't even know it's in there, because you can end up mucking things up and putting vehicles in. And um, before you put mods in, always, like cars, always look that the cars look good. Don't install something that doesn't look good, because I've installed vans where the wheels weren't actually there, and the doors were the wheels, and it's, it's stuff that's messed up in the developing of the mod, which they've not installed the LODs right or something. Which sometimes isn't that bad, like I've installed some Range Rovers which had black lights on it, it had the black light glitch, and the black light glitch is obviously pretty stupid. So I wanted to find another one, and but this was like the one I wanted because it had three skins, it had the red arm response, it had the Essex one, and then it had something else, I don't remember. But it basically had everything I wanted in it. So it was really, really cool. Um, but if you ever find something like that, always just try and replace it. Don't try and mess about with stuff. And in credits and stuff, and terms and conditions, follow them because things can happen. Um, some people didn't specify if they wanted credits. I did it anyway. I made a big description file, which uh, has got all my mods in which I will not be concluding in this video because this is not an actual video if you want to see my mod description it will be in the LCPDFR video which is the EVO 10 video that doesn't have all the stuff in because that was when I was playing like a kind of medium game where I was playing kind of in the middle of what I wanted it wasn't basic but it wasn't advanced if you want kind of a, a decent British setup that'll do it um, that's really cool but um, what I will be doing is on YouTube there will be a video where I will show you through this description and show you all the mods I've got where I've got them installed and I will be doing a tutorial how to install LTPFR how to install Ragehook and some other stuff so if you want to see that like subscribe um, let's go for five likes on this video so if you want to see those tutorial videos comment down below so guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. Comment down below what you thought. You know, always remember if you want to get mods, just, just go for it. It's good fun. So if you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more. Comment down below what you thought. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.